Good morning, my dear students. I'm Mohammed Bahadin, working as an assistant professor in ISV Engineering College, which is affiliated to Usman University, Hyderabad. So today in these sessions, we are going to discuss regarding the, the nodal coordinate of the triangular element. So the nodal coordinate of a triangular element as shown in a figure at the point P inside the element the x coordinate is 3.3 and the shape function is n1 is 0.3. So let us see over here, here at the interior point at which only x1 value is given. How much is given? x1 value is 3.3 is given. But y1 value is not given so in this case we need to find out the value of y1 okay as well as we need to determine the shape function of n2 and n3 and the y coordinate of a point we need to find out so we understood from this problem that what we need to find out the first thing is we need to find out the value of y we need to find out as well as we need to find out the shape function n2 and n3 we need to find out clear so let us see over here this is the origin point this triangular element is lies in two coordinate x coordinate as well as in a y coordinate clear this triangular element is having the three node the first node second node and third node the point one is how much is there 1 comma 2 at the node 2 the value is given here 5 comma 3 at the node 3 is 4 comma 6 clear then we can present over here x1 is 1 y1 so we can present here x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x1 is 1 y1 is 2 x2 is 5 y3 y2 is 3 x3 is 4 y3 is 6 clear then after that we have to use the isoparametric representation method so already we are learned in the first problem is we have the formula x is equal to x1 minus x3 n1 plus x2 minus x3 the shape function n2 plus x3 so it is considered as equation number one so y equal to instead of x1 we can represent here y1 minus instead of x3 we can represent y3 n1 plus instead of x2 we can represent here y2 because we are talking about y coordinate so that's what we have to represent here y2 minus y3 n2 plus y3 so it is considered as equation number two so from equation number one so x coordinate here so x value is already is given how much is given here 3.3 if you consider from the equation number one the x value is given here 3.3 x1 value is how much is given 1 is given and x3 value is 4 is given 1 minus 4 gen 1 value is how much is given shape function value 0 0.3 plus x2 value is how much is given 5 minus of x3 value is how much is given 4 shape function n2 plus x3 value is how much is given here it is given here is 4 after that so if you subtract 1 minus 4 it become as minus 3 minus 3 into 0 0.3 it become as minus 0 0.9 plus 5 minus 4 it become as 1 n2 plus 4 is it right so 3.3 if it is moved toward this side it become as positive 0 0.9 this is constant variable if it is moved toward the left left hand side it become as minus 4 equal to n2 so if you are add as well as subtract this value then you will get the value of the same function n2 is how much is there 0 0.2 so from 
another shape function formula n1 plus n2 plus n3 equal to 1 so in this case the n1 is also given is it right as well as we find out the value of n2 what is our main intention is there our main intention is there we want to find out the shape function n3 we need to find out so n1 is how much is given n1 is given here 0.3 n2 is already we find how much 0.2 plus n3 equal to 1 so n3 as it is 1 minus if it is moved toward this side become as minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2 it become as how much 0 0.5 1 minus of 0 0.5 become as how much 0 0.5 only is it right so the shape function n, n3 how much we got it here 0 0.5 n1 is 0 0.3 n2 is 0 0.2 n3 is 0 0.5 clear after that our main intention is there we need to find out the value of y coordinate we need to find out in the interior point is it right so for that reason we have to use the formula is y equal to y1 minus y3 n1 plus y2 minus of y3 n2 plus y3 so y1 y2 y3 is given and n1 and n2 are also given so y1 value how much is there 2 y3 value is minus 6 n1 value is how much is there 0 0.3 plus y2 value is how much is there 3 minus y3 value is how much is there 6 shape function n2 value is how much is there 0 0.2 y3 value is how much is there 6 so if you add this all the value then you will get the y coordinate point is how much is there 4.2 so in this problem what are they asking so in this problem they are asking about the y coordinate you need to find out how much we got 4.2 as well as in this problem we need to find out the value of n2 as well as we need to find out the value of n3 n2 how much we got it here 0.2 and n3 is how much we got 0.5 after the getting this n2 n3 and y value after that you have to represent in the result also so n1 the shape function n1 is equal to 0.3 we got it n2 is 0.2 is got it and n3 is how much we got here 0.5 so y coordinate point is in the interior system how much we got 4.2 so that is so this y it can be obtained from this formula also you can use instead of this formula also it is your wish is it right so y is equal to n1 y1 plus n2 y2 plus n3 y3 from this formula also you will get the same value y is how much 4.2 you can go for this formula otherwise you can go for this formula it is your choice clear here I hope so no one is having the dot so we next problem third problem for the point P located inside the triangular element as shown in a figure so if the shape function n1 and n2 are 0.3 and 0.5 so this mean that here the shape function n1 is how much is given 0.3 is given n2 how much is given 0.5 respectively is given so find its x coordinate as well as y coordinate so in this case the p the interior point p x comma y it is not given our intention is there we need to find out the value of x as well as we need to find out the value of y y coordinate and the left out the shape of function write down the solutions x1 value is how much is there x1 value is 2 y1 value is 1 x2 value is 4, y2 is 2. x3 value is 3, y3 value is 5. The shape function n1 is how much we got here? 0.3. n2 is how much we got here? 0.5. After that, we have to use the isoparametric representation method we have to use to solve the problem. Because our intention is there, we want to find out the value of x as well as we need to find out the value of y. So for that reason, I am using the first x coordinate isoparametric representation method so x is equal to x1 minus x3 n1 plus x2 minus x3 n2 plus x3 so here x1 value is how much is there 2 minus x3 value is how much is there 3 plus x2 value is how much is that here 4 minus x3 value is 3 n2 the shape function is how much is there 0 0.5 plus x3 value is how much is there 3 so if you add the whole the value then you will get the answer is 3.2 Okay, dear. Again, our intention is x1. How much we got here? Interior point x. We got the value is 3.2. But our intention is that we want to find out the value of y. The same concept we need to follow over here. Instead of x, we have to represent y. That's it. This is y1 minus y3 n1 plus y2 minus y3 n2 plus y3. Clear? 
then y1 is how much is there 1 minus y3 is how much is there 5 the shape function n1 is how much is there 0 0.3 and y2 is how much is there y2 is 2 minus y3 is how much is there 5 into shape function n2 is how much is there 0 0.5 plus y3 is how much is there here it should be become as 5 so if you add this all the value then you will get the answer is 2.3 but our intention is there we what we need to find out our intention is that we want to find out the value of shape function n3 we need to find out because here in this problem n1 is given as well as n2 is given is it right so we can easily find out the value of a shape function n3 we can easily find out n1 plus n2 plus n3 equal to 1 n1 value is how much is there 0 0.3 n2 value is how much is there 0 0.5 plus n3 equal to 1 n3 equal to 1 minus of if it is moved towards this side minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.5 so if you have subtract this value then you will get the all then you will get the answer is n3 is how much 0 0.2 so after that you have to represent this result the coordinate point is x coordinate how much we got here 3.2 the y coordinate is how much we got here 2.3 and the shape function n3 how much we got here 0 0.2 clear i hope so no one is having the doubt regarding this problem if you have the small doubt regarding this session please please write down in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you dear